So I often get asked, uh, what is art? What is good art? And uh, I uh, have a very simple definition actually. Art is uh, something that uh, we all intrinsically know. It's like a it's like a good song. When you see something you like, uh, you have an instant like for it or dislike for it. You don't need to really know very much more. At the more sort of involved level, it's about good composition. There's a skill in composition. It's about uh, understanding color. It's about expressing these together. But uh, for a simple layman, uh, good art is like a good song. You uh, hear it and you know it instantly, you like it. And that's the response that you need to have. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. Hello people, I am Jyoti and welcome to our show Talk with Tops. Today we have one of the most sought after watercolour painter in the country, Mr. Kunal Batra. So sir, welcome to our show. Thank you. You did your schooling from one of the most well-known schools of India, the Lawrence School, Sanawar at Shimla. That's right. I went there as a young uh, child of 8 years old mm -hmm. and I spent a good 10 years uh, in Sanawar. Uh, it's been a major uh, uh, portion in forming my character actually. Uh, it's given me a love for the mountains. Uh, I owe a lot to that school. How much do you think your alma mater has contributed in helping you to pursue art as your career? Uh, well, it gave me the courage uh, to follow my dreams. Uh, it gave me a, uh, I had a very good teacher in art uh, who gave me the foundation that I needed in order to start believing in myself. Uh, I think it's contributed substantially towards uh, my ability to take this decision now in life. We understand you have worked at American Express TRS and International Travel House before setting an inbound tour company uh, named Journey Masters. So I had this great passion for travel actually and I'm very lucky that I was able to pursue a career in travel uh, before I took to painting. And uh, uh, yes, American Express gave me a very firm grounding on the understanding of the corporate world, of how corporate travel worked, uh, what travel was all about and uh, similarly with uh, Travel House, which is part of ITC. Uh, I later decided to set up my own company, which specialized in the uh, mountains and in wildlife. And I spent about 13 years doing that. So uh, yes, it's been a, a wonderful experience to be able to pursue my passion uh, to earn a living up till now. You were also a member of CII National Tourism Advisory Council for three years. How was the experience? It was a wonderful experience. I am not sure. I was probably the youngest member on that uh, council and I was invited there uh, in 2003 to 2006. Hmm. Uh, it was great interacting with the captains of industry and uh, I, I was hopefully able to contribute a little bit of, uh, towards the sort of tourism policy as far as uh, the country is concerned. From what I am gathering is that you were a successful entrepreneur. So what made you to leave your own company and pursue art? Well, I wouldn't say I was a, a successful entrepreneur. I did manage to set up a company, but my heart was not in it. I uh, Ran it successfully for many years. I did a corporate job and uh, I actually made a promise to myself that I would start painting at the age of 40. And uh, when that time came, uh, I tried to sort of do it very tentatively. Uh, I took some art appreciation courses. I sort of uh, took on some classes in art, but I found that I couldn't concentrate on both uh, subjects at the same time. So I decided that before uh, I got too old, it was time for me to sort of pursue my other passion, which was painting and I started devoting more time towards it. And once that happened, then I sort of lost track of time. I took on a, a teacher, a professional artist who taught me for a year and uh, gradually I got pulled into painting. So uh, yes, I did manage to run my business, but my uh, mind was elsewhere. So I can't call myself a successful businessman or entrepreneur. Why is it that you choose watercolour painting instead of any other form? What's so unique about this style? Okay, so watercolour painting is traditionally considered uh, a very sort of uh, basic uh, uh, form of painting. It's usually okay. a preparatory uh, drawing and then people move on to uh, oils. But I found that it had a, a brilliant uh, uh, sort of uh, texture. It had a brilliant uh, way of sort of expressing itself and I yeah. wanted to explore it more. It was actually also very convenient because it was very versatile, you could carry it anywhere. Hmm. Uh, you know, there's no sort of sticky paint involved. Uh, I just found that I fell in love with watercolours 
and I decided to pursue it more and more. And the more I sort of practiced it, the more I understood it, uh, that there was more to learn. And I'm not going to carry on doing watercolors uh, right through, but I still have a few years that I'm going to pursue just watercolors because I think you need to work on one medium at a time. Hmm. Uh, you can't work on oils and watercolors at the same time. At least I can't. And uh, I think there's a lot more to learn still. Okay. We see that most of your paintings are based on the Himalayan range in and around the Ladakh region. Any specific reason behind that? Yes, I have a love for the mountains. Okay. I was uh, born in the mountains. I mm. uh, spent most of my childhood there. And through my sort of professional career also, I traveled extensively over 20 years to all these places that I've painted actually. So uh, actually when I was trying to choose a subject uh, to paint first, I'd uh, worked on various aspects uh, of uh, human form. I decided to work with something that was close to me actually. Mm. And I chose the mountains because I had this great love for the mountains. And I found that I could put my uh, love for color uh, together with a landscape and uh, just decided it was the first subject I work on. How do you choose the subject? Is there any uh, specific process for the creativity? Well, actually one has to have a love for whatever subject you decide to mm. work on. Uh, after that, uh, there's a certain process as far as art is create, uh, concerned. It's, there's a, a context to art, which is what uh, exists at the moment. Mm. There is a certain amount of skill involved when you sort of put uh, something together. And uh, there is something about traveling inwards and understanding what you want to say. So once these three come together, then the subject can be anything. Uh, it just works very well together. When I'm sort of choosing a subject, uh, I uh, usually travel to places. I uh, take inspiration. I sort of observe things. I take a lot of photographs. Uh, I uh, try and sort of absorb what's happening around me. Then I come back and I process that. It takes me two to three months to sort of think it through. Okay. Then I'll come up with some compositions. Hmm. And uh, once I have the composition together, then I put it down on paper or canvas, whichever way uh, things are. And then I start interacting with the painting because after that I let uh, reality go in the sense that once I've got the bas basic facts that I need, I will start working with color because there's a language to color. Hmm. So one starts interacting with the colors that are in the canvas and it's a s small process that goes on. So one has acquired the skill to sort of work with the hmm. colors and form. But uh, eventually there's a little bit of magic that happens when you create a painting and it's totally out of uh, the control of the artist really. You have to let go. So uh, that's how the process actually works in this case. How many times in a year you have your exhibitions? Well, actually, uh, uh, I don't think I can do more than uh, uh, an exhibition every two years okay. uh, because I work very slowly. I do maybe about 25 paintings in a, in a year. And uh, I have a number of shows. There are a number of group shows that happens. I've got galleries that represent me and uh, they keep putting it together with various other people. But for a solo show, you need about 25, 30 works together. And that takes about a year or two years. It depends on whenever they're ready, mm. whenever I feel I have enough work with me, I uh, sort of put an exhibition down. Where can one buy your paintings from? I mean, are you online or you have some galleries? Well, usually I work through galleries. I okay. have a representation in Delhi. I have one in Bombay. And uh, some of my old buyers come to me directly as well. They sort of uh, contact me and say, we want a painting. And I'm sometimes happy to give it to them directly. But uh, it's easily available. How was the journey to achieve such a glorious and celebrated growth of your career? I don't know whether it's glorious or celebrated. Uh, I think I'm just on a journey. I okay. uh, decided to sort of uh, pursue this because I had no other choice in terms of my own decisions. It was something I promised myself for so many years and I found that I had to pursue it in order to fulfill my own life. And uh, I enjoy creating, so it's fun for me. But uh, as far as success and glorious is concerned, uh, that's uh, not something that drives me and I'm not sure when one sort of experiences it or doesn't experience it. I know it's good to have your work uh, displayed and appreciated mm. and that's enough for me. That's a reward enough for me. Can you share some of your achievements with our audience? Uh, well, uh, I'm not sure whether they're achievements, but yes, I have. I had my first solo exhibition in 2014. It was actually at the India International Centre mm. and uh, it was uh, hosted by them, uh, after which I've had several group shows. I've had uh, my works travel to uh, the Busan International Art Fair this year. Uh, it's been exhibited in Bombay. It's been uh, on charity for several organizations. Uh, these are all small landmarks as far as uh, art is concerned. Mm. I'm enjoying the process. My work is uh, thankfully selling. And uh, that's as uh, happy as you can get as an artist. 
and who is your inspiration in your in this field oh there are so many inspirations actually i uh, try and sort of straddle both uh, the west and the east hmm. i am very impressed with the impressionists uh, i have a lot of indian artists that i have a lot of respect for also hmm. uh, i try and uh, without taking too many names i have a lot of uh, people that i think are brilliant artists and they've been through the entire journey of uh, painting and uh, uh okay you are a successful inspiration for the people who succeed when they follow their passion do you have some word of advice for the people who give up their uh, passion in the fear of failure so there is no success and there is no failure uh, one has to follow their own passion if you want to have a fulfilled life i think uh, one has to take a leap of faith uh, you shouldn't be afraid mm. fear is a thing that kept me back from painting for at least about 25 years uh, i had to overcome that but the sooner you overcome that the better it is for whoever wants to follow their passion uh, just do it maximum you will not succeed you will find something else to do but don't be afraid okay yeah so at last thanks for coming to our show and taking out your precious time for us thank you that's all we could pack into this edition of the show for more videos subscribe to our channel top news networks like this video and share as much as you can So I often get asked uh, what is art what is good art and uh, I uh, have a very simple definition actually art is uh, something that uh, we all intrinsically know It's like a it's like a good song when you see something you like uh, you have an instant like for it or dislike for it you don't need to really know very much more at the more sort of involved level it's about good composition there's a skill in composition it's about uh, understanding color it's about expressing these together but uh, for a simple layman a uh, good art is like a good song you uh, hear it and you know it instantly you like it and that's the response that you need to have uh, nothing more nothing less